Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day. Had a great, wonderful day. Today, I've had some ideas. I've seen some other people doing it. I had the thought of doing it, but thought that it was gonna be way too hard to make the cuts that I need to make. I pulled up some old tires that are out here on the property. Tractor tires, that kind of thing. One side was already cut. I kind of want to cut the other side because, you know, it, it curves up. So I don't want water just kind of sitting in it. I want it to kind of, you know, go out because some ideas I've seen other people doing is using it as a raised bed container. Uh, especially, who, who was that? Uh, Mike and Bobby from uh, MB Heritage. Uh, great people, by the way. Love watching their stuff. If you haven't checked them out, go, well, finish watching this one, please. Then go over, check them out. They got all kinds of stuff, and they got all, they do a lot of great gardening and stuff. And I just want to make this for small stuff. I mean, I've seen them do, what, some carrots in theirs, and you know, all different kind of stuff. And that's what I want to try to do in, in, in these. Kind of set them up down kind of where we want to do our garden. And I think they're going to work really great. But I want to still cut this other back side out. So that I don't get a lot of water trapped up in there. And so it can kind of all go out. Plus, it'll make them lighter. Because <laughs> these tractor tires are heavy. So, I've got one, two, three, four, five of these good size tractor tires. They're all about four or so feet wide, I guess, from edge to edge, you'd say. And the great thing about it is, is instead of trying to build up this one section where we think we still want to put the garden at that we, we planned on a long time ago doing and still haven't finished clearing it all out, but there's a low spot that kind of runs through there. So water kind of sits. So we're thinking if we put this through that low spot, then we don't have to, you know, this is a way to raise it up, basically, in a way. And hopefully it's not going to hold too much moisture underneath. Is what we're hoping. So, Pretty simple, actually, actually, to cut into these. I've just got uh, my drill with... This is a 7 8 bit. Probably, you could use one inch. It drills right through these little tractor tires with no problem. I'm using my powered reciprocating saw today. Uh, mainly it's that way I don't think I have to go through batteries a lot, plus I, I was close to a, a power cord. And I'm just using one of the, uh, I think they're construction type, you know, demolition, heavy, you know, uh, wood cutting saw blades. Seems like it's working real well through this. I, I kind of practiced a little bit because I didn't want to look like too much of a moron showing y'all. And a stick. The stick actually does work pretty well because you can do it all by yourself. But it does work pretty good if you've got somebody after you make the cut. We'll show you here in a second. If you can use this to kind of pry to where the, the, the rubber actually separates a little bit. You don't have all that rubber that's, you know, getting friction, which is getting hot, which is kind of getting sticky and kind of, you know, bogs down your blade. If you've got this, you can kind of twist it in there as it goes around to separate it a little bit. But we'll show you that here in just a second. Let me get a little bit more go-go juice and find my lovely assistant to come help. Be right back. Alright, so here we go. Tire. Some of them actually have like this little line that goes around it. Of course, look at here. You kind of want to watch out for foreign debris for your blade. There is a bullet. Bullet. Ah. I tell you, whoever had this property beforehand really loves shooting up stuff. Uh, make sure there's no big metal spikes or anything, of course, in your tire. Or bullets. Or bullets. Huh. Well, that's just interesting. Since it's already cut good on the bottom, this is going to be what 
will be my facing up top. So I think I'm going to go right along the edge of this outside line to get just, you know, a little bit of the lip because I don't want too much overhanging because, you know, it does curve back some. But to cut into all this would be way tougher. You just don't want to cut into this, the thinner part of the tire. So what we do here, trusty little drill. I just kind of line up the edge of my paddle bit there because I'm just using just a regular old paddle bit. And I'm gonna just line it up to where it's gonna be on that line. Actually, maybe just a hair bit over. And it, it goes through there real well. And then my lovely assistant can hand me that other. Move the drill. And then you can just kind of follow right along that line that I'm going to do. Like I said, it, it's going through pretty well right now. Of course, I just started, so it hasn't really, the blade hasn't heated up too much. But you can use something to pry in there. I would say something, if you had something decently wooden uh, to get in there. Maybe not such as wide. And you can kind of pry it up a little bit. Just to, re to reduce the friction. Just to reduce that friction. So now I got most of it all done. Now I figure we just pull it up a little bit. Shauna can be on that other side and kind of pull it her direction. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> but see, yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty thick. Help? But it, it cut through. What do you mean, help? <laughs> I figured you wanted to sit on the floor, on the ground. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you can see that thing is, is pretty thick on this one. I guess some of them might be a little thinner. But see, I cut this back. A little bit further than what the other cut was. But see, the other cut's all flat and curved up or curved down so where no water will sit there. And then that way there's not that much dirt back behind here of basically wasted garden space. Okie doke. So, that didn't take very long at all. It does help with the next person to kind of hold, like I said, to hold that tension back so it doesn't make a lot of friction. One down. One, two, three, four more to go. And if you like what you're seeing, I hope you do, uh, don't forget to hit the little bell, the little thumbs up, the little like, you know. Share them if you'd really like to. Okay. And <laughs> thanks again, MB Heritage Farms, for the inspiration that you gave me to use the stuff I had to do this. So. And please, go check them out too, because like I said, they're great, great folks. Let me get these cut, get them put over there. Let me see if I can get a little dirt, put them in here in a little bit. Get some of our compost that we had, that the chickens haven't all completely destroyed. And see if we can get them all leveled out and prepared. So, be back with you in just a minute after I get all these cut, because you don't want to see all that boring stuff. All right. Hey, you didn't fall down I put time. my foot behind me. Oh, got yourself some leverage. That's hey, all right. Smart of thinking. <laughs> smart of thinking. That's what's nice about doing this compost. This thing, this compost is got a little bit of clay still mixed in with it. I kind of tilled it all around, but. Got plenty of nice red worms in that stuff too, boy. Woo. Hopefully it's gonna do it. I mean, majority of it is coffee and donkey poop. <laughs> oh, it's been warm today. <laughs> <laughs>
it's cooler than normal, but it's still warm after moving around all this stuff. So, I think it worked out pretty good. Got them all kind of lined up here. We put a little bit of the clay stuff we have out here already kind of in the bottoms, just to kind of fill it up just a little bit. And then we had our compost that we've been kind of working on, which is, well, pretty much coffee grounds and donkey poop, majority. Eggshells. Well, yeah, with, with the amount of coffee, and then he makes a pretty good load. But anywho. It's been sitting for a year and a half, so. Yeah, it's been sitting for a while. We're hoping this is going to turn out pretty good. Thanks again for uh, all y'all's support and, and, and watching us. And hopefully you're feeling like you're thriving with us. Like we, we hope we are thriving a little bit. <laughs> and another shout out there to MB Heritage Farms for... Just, you know, I've seen it lots of times, but I just happen to have been watching y'all with all your gardening stuff all the time. Of course, there's lots of stuff that I want to try that y'all been growing. Mainly, what are those little yellow meat watermelons? Baby doll? Baby dolls or something? I can't remember. I have to relook at your video again. But those did look good. So, got them all here. Got these ready. Hopefully, we can get something going here soon. Maybe not too late for the fall. If not, it's already prepped and ready. We got this knocked out for the springtime. So, y'all have a great and safe one out there. Thanks again for coming along. Can't wait to see y'all till next time. Later, guys.